welcome to another episode of New OB and today the new update 1.7 has just been released. The real first thing I want to talk about is that we are now able to capture with our external capture card. So I'm using an Elgato to capture this and it is work. However, there are a few steps you have to actually go through before you can start using your external capture device. On my Japanese account, I couldn't actually find the app, so we'll use my American account. You can go over to the store and go to apps. When you go to apps, you can just go all the way here to the end, go to all apps and share factory is right over here so you'll have to download that if you want to use the movie maker which we're going to be showing in today's episode so that's that for that uh, to get the update just go to settings and go to system software update and you'll get the latest one which i've already downloaded uh, and the last step if you want to be able to capture with your external card you'll have to go to settings then go to system and then you'll have to uncheck enable HDCP and I suppose you can also enable HDMI device link you'll probably have to do that as well so anyway that's basically all you have to do and then you can start capturing with your external device now what I do want to look at is a uh, share factory which I've downloaded now enter standby mode and turn off PS4 so let's switch user very quick and uh, let's go to my Japanese account this one's installed automatically and then this one like I showed you you have to download something really bad just happened now I stopped recording because I wanted to make sure that my volume wasn't too high on my mic and then when I started recording again I didn't check everything and it seems like my mic was not switched on I have already edited um, a little movie I didn't do a very good job I was just testing it out uh, and I have rendered it out now so I can show that but I wanted to show you kind of how you do it and I was showing this like I said for about 20 minutes but my voice was not recorded so I'm gonna have to kind of do it again there we go let's just uh, exit without saving because I don't really care about the project and let's just go out of here altogether. Now, I think it was saved in here, the clip that I just made. So let's go to all. I'm guessing we'll be over here, hopefully. Uh, there's a corrupted file. Is this it? Crap, I don't even see it yet. Well, th it's according to date, I think. So, oh, wait, there's Share Factory. Uh, maybe. So, was it this one? 347 megabytes, quite large. So, let's take a look. Yep, this is the one I made. Pretty awesome, Share Factory. So it's got quite a nice intro. It's got my name over there, so you know who I am, Omni Omega X. And then it goes into Square Enix. Um, oh, pretty awesome, transition. Ah, oh, it went into this. Remember, this footage though was not captured with my Elgato, the background footage actually. It was captured with the PlayStation capture card. So it's 720p, I believe. I'm hoping that you can take that gameplay footage captured from the Elgato and actually put it into Share Factory. I'm not sure if you can, but I'll be testing that in the future. And there we got a little transition, pretty awesome. And a new background effect, pretty cool. Inverted colors, yeah, I, I wouldn't probably use this too much, but I thought I'd just, you know, test a few different things out. Okay, that was a pretty cool transition. First, what you do is you go to new project. Now that I know how to do it, I can do it a little bit quicker. So we just used share factory theme. Uh, there's different themes, alphabetically. Well, I suppose in the future, there'll be more themes to choose from. That was share factory. There's also a PlayStation 4 theme, the playroom theme, and second sun theme. So let's go to the PlayStation 4 theme. Let's take a look at this one. I'll just say that and start project. Okay, and we'll just say continue. We're not going to rename it. And well, pretty awesome. So that's how it's going to start with that. And then I should look something like that. And then I'll go into this PlayStation 4. And then I'll go to the video where I'm busy just walking around cleaning my room a little bit. Square and we can trim the clip. We can say we don't want to have everything here. So we take, I don't want all that. Uh, so I'll just go there and I don't want all this. So we just trim how much we want. Let's just say that. And uh, voila, we've trimmed the clip, split clip. So we're gonna have to split it a few times. So we'll just go split, yes. And we'll split it many times so we can have many transitions. This video is actually too long. So I should actually make it even shorter. Let me just, um, let me first go back and press square. We go to trim clip. Let's make it very short because it's just too long. Let's do it like that. Okay, now it's the shortest. Two minutes and 55 seconds. That's not too long. And let's go a little bit more. We'll, um, not that one, we want to split it again. So split, yes, and split, yes. Actually, that's probably long enough. Let's let's delete this one now. Delete clip and confirm, boom. OK, 
Okay, we've got the end in now. Okay, that's a little bit short, uh, which is good. We don't want too much, and we have add some transitions first. So let's add the transitions. We've got the transitions, and we've got uh, quite a few different ones. The cinematics we've got, of course, we've got wipes, which are just wipes, nothing special there, and dissolving, like just fading away and so on. The cinematics are obviously the coolest ones. So let's put this one first. We'll go here. We'll add another transition, and you can actually watch the transitions by pressing R2. So that's what it'll look like. Uh, you can go to this one. You can see pretty awesome. There's a Chef Factory one. Uh, we've got this one. These look actually very awesome. I like these ones. It's a square. We have everything. Uh, we have the triangle. And we have a circle. I don't know what this one is. What's this? Oh, it's like a warp and what's this one? Square. Two different triangles. There's X. Uh, we've got the robot. Ah, what have I done? Well, I just chose the robot one now. I'll uh, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, let's do one more time. We go to no, not this. I'm going to add the transition, and we added the robot. I'll show you what it looks like. It kind of jumps down. Pretty awesome. There's a robot that flies by. What's this one? I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Let's just take that one, and we'll put another one of here. So every time you have to press X to add a transition, special effect. So let's start off with uh, this one. We'll go to add effects, and well, we could add a sticker. So maybe we'll put these eyes like they watch in. And let's just see, where are they? Oh yeah, they are. RL1, you'll make it smaller. R1, you'll make it bigger. So we can just put this maybe over there. Pretend that's my logo. Hopefully you can bring in your own pictures. I haven't tested that yet, but I will in the future. So there we go, we added some eyes. And then we go to this one, let's add effects. This time not stickers, let's add uh, layout. And we'll do this one. And then let's go to this one and add effects. And we'll add like this one, what's this half screen? Why is the half screen? Why would we do that? Uh, add effects and there's filters. So let's add this one. Yeah, that doesn't look so good. I don't know why people would use those, but they there. Let's just do this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we've done quite a lot. Obviously you can add text as well. Let me show you what text there is available. If we go to add text, we go to, well, wrong thing. Go to uh, add effects, go to text. And you can see there's different types of text. We can actually add different sizes and different fonts. There's one minute and 48 seconds long. It'll take about one minute and 48 seconds to render out. So that's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. And the quality seems quite reasonable. So there we go, it's busy rendering. Pretty awesome. We have two videos here. Yes, the new one. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Pretty awesome. Looks very, very nice. Nice introduction. There we go, it comes on. I'm busy cleaning my control. Pretty nice. And then there's a transition. And we've got that effect over there. Pretty nice. And I don't know why this was recording. It seems like the PlayStation 4 is just recording this automatically without my knowledge. Pretty awesome transition there. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And then you can add a little stuff on the side, especially if you transport this video onto your computer and then whatever you want to add to the side, you can go ahead and do. Cool transitions, that's one of my favorite parts. And some nice special effects. I'm sure there'll be a lot more added in the future. Anyway guys, that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Um, um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also hit that like button. I really like to see many likes. Of course, everybody likes to see likes. Booja! Oh, 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 oh. oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh.